It was March 8th. My wife Stephanie had picked our daughter Kendall up from daycare. You know, later in the afternoon, right before we picked her up, she felt a little warm. Took her temperature as a 99 and a half to 100 degree temperature. Took her to my parents' house. They were going to watch the kids the next day, so we were going to stay the night there. So we gave her some uh, medicine, some Tylenol about 5.30 try and break the fever. Put her to bed pretty early, about eight o'clock. She woke up about 8.30. So I held her, I uh, was just gonna hold her and let her sleep. My dad was sitting next to me, he said, hey, do you care if I hold her? She was asleep, I said, no, that sounds good. About 30 seconds after I handed her to my dad, she locked up, uh, her arms went straight up, and uh, she began seizuring. Kind of yelled across the room to my wife to call 911. And so whenever she was seizuring, she began convulsing. She's, she's gone limp at this time, so, She's uh, no longer locked up her body, but her jaw is still locked up, so she couldn't breathe. So she starts going pale, uh, starts turning bluish. You know, at this moment, you're kind of thinking, you know what, what can I do? And, and the answer there is kind of nothing. I looked at my dad and I said, Dad, I, I need help. You know, and that's the, that's the bottom line. And uh, he said, yeah, I don't know what to do, you know? So that was maybe the first time I've ever heard him say that, so. It took uh, a little bit under nine minutes from the time that she called uh, 911 to the time that they were actually in the driveway walking in the door. Got to the hospital, a doctor came in maybe 20 seconds after we got in the room, so within a minute of us pulling up, we had a doctor, three nurses there. Turns out that um, it wasn't life or death, you know, but it, it felt like it. I think that our emergency department is crucial to this area. There are a lot of smaller towns that don't have what we have to work with. Um, the great thing about it is when they bring somebody in, they're getting the same care that they would be getting at our sister hospital, St. John's. We have access to the same resources. They get the same care they would have there, but it starts earlier and they don't have to go as far. We've never had a medical emergency where we needed the hospital within minutes. To say that Litchfield has a leg up from a medical standpoint is, a, is an understatement. Every experience we've had here so far has been positive. Uh, the staff's friendly. Um, the, the general demeanor around the hospital is professional, knowledgeable, willing to help. We have to be able to, to have that in the community.